Sir, the partisans have begun their attack. Mech power up detected. There are eleven acceptable weapons on this mech. Everything and then the machine gun. Much of fight. We sharpshoot it quite a lot and probably fought against a few of them. So, this bastard is dangerous. Definitely seems like the medium range is where the AI fights. I, I think we are still mostly getting the long range bombs, though. We are hitting quite reliably on uh, in the head. This should be the enemy operative. Meeting call. Yeah, we need to take control of that. Something's preventing the capture. Objective worst. complete. Steiner is looking for me, so I'll make this quick. The rear armor on the Legion tank is extremely weak, so get behind them if you can. Watch your back, Commander. There's an aerospace spotter in the area. Mm, the partisan forces are being annihilated. Try to protect at least their mobile HQ or for what it's worth. We should have stayed in this area if we wanted to keep them safe. Come on, come on. Be light mix and things like that here. Yeah, we the pilot has come in taking hits again. Pretty. Thank you, Commander. We sent a demolition team 
to destroy the enemy's sensor control. Taking down their sensor grid should help your attack. I'll signal them to blow it. Yeah, please don't go down there. Yeah, don't go the fucking down. Jesus Christ. They blew the sensor control, so the protection facility is virtually blind. Why can't I target it? I don't get it. Why are you going down? Why? 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 Because there is no AI. There is just retardedness. I don't get it. Why do they can clearly shoot at this distance, but they're trying to get closer and closer, and in this case, we're trying to walk into the minefield for some reason. It's like some kind of basic real time strategy controls and AI would do a lot of good for the second version. Wouldn't hurt the first game either, but Jesus Christ, this one really needs it. I'm not taking any risks with you. Turrets deactivated. There could be quite a lot of fighting there. We can't afford the repair vehicle. Oh shit. We probably should call it. Hey, affirmative. Repair vehicle inbound. Yeah, our fighting capabilities are still quite good. So the pilot is in good condition. That's the important part. Now the question becomes... Yeah, why can't I sh target I hate this uh, 3D angle shit. So I can target sometimes uh, targets that are clearly just there. Here. 
Locking in target. Roger. See ya. Hacksaw here. It's as good as dead. Hacksaw here. Locking in target. Yeah, why can't I? Okay, I, I can't target this piece of shit. Yeah, it's 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 not at the where the model is. That's not where I can target it. It's somewhere else around it. I hit the three D when it doesn't contribute anything here. We could go. Zoom in very close. Look at this this way. Is it cool? No, it is not particularly cool. I guess it's nice if we want to take screenshots or something like that for uh But uh, other than that it's more more of a bother to get it right. It's not too big of a deal. Once you get it right, it sticks there, and the controls are fairly simple. So it's not a huge bother. If it just if targeting and things like that would work fine, then I, I wouldn't complain about it at all. But they don't. So I'm complaining about it. Because in, in to my gameplay experience, they don't contribute anything positive. They brought with them the problem of uh, camera, painful camera controls. Well, you didn't, you didn't used to be a problem. Uh, I didn't go. Ooh, I wish I could zoom in closer. Without a doubt, the problem was the exact opposite. How can I zoom in further out so I can see something? Uh, there's very little point saving the turret controls at this point, since we're on the attack and uh, our ability to kill stuff it has vastly increased with the sharpshooting ability and using Enemy proper weapons. Relay station power generators to be destroyed. There should be an enemy. Mech power up detected. That's the stuff. Ooh, upper heavy stuff. Go away. Yeah, it, it's. Just downright gruesome how effective this can be. Definitely, it's it's a stacking prob problem. I guess on its own, I don't think it's all that amazing. Using it, well, it is a good strong ability, but it gets to the point I can call it broken when you stack the different kinds of specialization on top of each other then the hit chance becomes so great that you can hit like 50% of the time or very close to that in the head of enemy. It, it can take a few hits so something like 3 or 4 with our lasers but we're, we have more, more than 10, 10 weapons so we're a few bursts at best and the enemy is dead. It doesn't matter who is, it, it's just dead. All mechs, regardless of their size, have the same maximum armor, I think. 
in the head or uh, area at least. There might be small, small differences, but it's like a difference between 12 points and 6 points. It's not something like you can, you can never have a huge amount of armoring there. And you are dead. It's easier to capture the turret controls at this point. Building is mine. Taxaw here. Hey, I'm under fire. Am I? <sighs> so, we need to destroy the two medium factories. I'll do the medium factories first. Taxaw here. All bust and shiny boss. Okay, in the long term game, laser specialty serves no real purpose. If you want lasers, you'll take extended range lasers. Hmm. Alternatively, you could take PPCs, but I like the extent range a bit more. It's probably a taste thing, though. A single shot from a PPC to the head could be, is pretty much lethal to anything. A laser, not, not quite so. It doesn't make a huge difference. Short range. What's the enemy? Legion. No. Bedetti. That's a little story. There, just destroy the turret controls. Turrets deactivated. Yeah, headshot first one, second. I'm not sure pulse lasers would be a good option. The problem with pulse lasers is that you do want some kind of a punch to hit. So. Ghost rifles might be interesting. But then you wouldn't get the sharpshooter. So it's not really an option. Primary objective is something missing. We should get a nice haul of resources from this. Just like we needed them though. Enemy 
resources captured. Enemy resources captured. So, 40 values in resource units. Wait a minute. Where is it? Get to high ground, get to high ground. Miss, 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 miss. The razor backs can't take their shots yet. If they take like two to three, they go down. That is a bit ridiculous. Get to the highest point. We'll call a re a repair vehicle there. Repair and then quickly swoop down to handle the rest. There should be legions. We can drop airstrike on them. We can drop at least four airstrikes. So we don't have to be all that sparing with those. Destroy all legion tanks. Destroy three industrial complexes. I don't recall incorrectly the legions were long range tanks, very heavy on the front. So a few airstrikes might be exactly what we need, especially if we try to fight them in long range. So, launching sensor probe now. Mm. Mm. It's probably some mech power ups. Welcome, mercenary. A real opponent at last. Excellent field test for my Bastards are super heavy. They either run quickly out of ammo or their weapons are pretty easy to destroy. They could be very long range units too. are much easier to get rid of at this point. They just melt in front of the sharpshooter after they Here. It's as good as dead. 
here so extract 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 uh, I don't see any huge problems in completing this now even with the sharpshooter app with a uh, weaponry we didn't have special specializations on uh, I was sort of having my doubts now not really it'll be uh, I think I'll focus on primary objective at this, uh, objectives at this point, at least to a very large extent. It's because we only have the one player, so there isn't going to be a huge amount of variation in what's going to happen. Some kind of a fairly heavy mech, shooting people in the head. 